Next question is from Helene Uska1. What are some exercises to help with knee pain? Oh, yeah, good old knee pain. You know, here's something interesting about knee pain. We actually talked about this before on the show. And, and if you have our MAPS Prime Pro program, you'll find that we don't have knee-specific mm -hmm. mobility movements or exercises in the program. And someone might say, well, why? A lot of people have knee problems. It's because the vast majority of, of, of chronic pain that, ha that people feel in the knee is the result of a dysfunction from either the ankle and the foot or the hip. It's typically where you'll find the dysfunction. If the ankle, the foot, and the, and the hip are working really well and moving really well and strong and there's good mobility, nine out of 10 times, or maybe even 10 out of 10 times, there is no knee pain. Yeah, so, I go for well, it's a hinge joint. Yeah, uh, you know, its function literally is to extend and flex. You know, flex. And so, uh, everything else in terms of rotation and stabilizing, you know, you got to look at the hips or the ankle. Uh, and so, I guess that's why too we, we we direct a lot of the attention in there, which you know will reveal a lot more about where the dysfunction lies. I, I would go even further to say that it's always hip or ankle unless uh, you have an acute injury. Right. So unless somebody you know literally tore a ligament in your knee or you know cracked or broke your patella some mm -hmm. shit like that if you didn't if you don't have an acute injury that happened in the knee but yet you have knee pain it is going to be the ankles and the hip or and or probably both because mm -hmm. many times yeah. if there is some ankle dysfunction that it's running at the kinetic chain and it's causing issues yep. or or lack of mobility in the hip so the answer to this the the exercises that would best suit this person and you know sal alluded to Prime Pro, I address two of my favorite moves related exactly to this. And that, because knee pain is so common, that's why these two moves found their way into that webinar. Like I chose what I thought were some of the best mobility moves that helped most people that I ever worked with, with the most common things that they dealt with. Knee pain was extremely common. So the combat stretch for the ankle mobility and then the 90-90 variations for the hips, yeah. doing those movements will help alleviate. Yeah, I would say if you're pain. watching this and you have some chronic knee pain, probably good 70 80 percent you will see benefit from just doing right those two things i mean right. again if you, just to illustrate right if you look at the knee joint and it, it it flexes and extends there are ligaments that prevent it from laterally bending right. and they're and from sliding forward and back and from twisting so it's it's kind of like it's so like in the all middle of a bunch of rubber bands holding it holding in place. it in place yeah. allowing it yeah. just to flex and extend now when you look at the hip or the ankle they can rotate, they can move laterally, they can flex, you know, forward and back. They, all this kinds of all this movement, but mm -hmm. the knee doesn't. So if they're not strong and mobile and stable, uh, the ankles and the and the hips, then what's holding that knee in place are those ligaments. Yeah. It's keeping it from twisting. Mm -hmm. It's keeping it from it stresses and, them the hell out. Yeah, and you just over time, you know, you're, you're constantly walking, constantly walking, and your meniscus is always making sure that nothing's twisting because your ankle is so messed up or whatever because your hip isn't very mobile. Then over time, oh my meniscus has pain, or oh look, I have you know issues with my patella or whatever. It's and so it's usually always coming from those two areas. So I would say look there always.